Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, arriving in the arena this moment is the family of the special guest of honor, President Commander in Chief. We have a High Excellency Dr. Adia Aisha Muhammad Bwari, accompanied by members of the family. Excellency, you are hardly welcome. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, announcing the arrival of the President of the Senate and the Speaker House of Representatives. Excellences, Messieurs, Mesdames, Messieurs les Ambassadeurs, distingués invités, on nous signale la présence de la Première Dame au République du Fédéral du Nigeria, en compagnie de sa famille. Et aussi la présence du Président du Sénat et celui de la Chambre du Parlement. Distinguished invited guests, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen, the fanfare you heard a while ago heralded the arrival of the President of the Senate, distinguished Senator Dr. Ahmed Lal, and the Speaker, House of Representatives, Right Honorable Femi Bajabia Miller. You are most welcome, Your Excellencies. While we await the arrival of His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, may I once again request the band to please give us some musical interlude. Mesdames, Messieurs les Ambassadeurs, distingués invités, pendant que nous, euh, nous attendons l'arrivée du vice-président de la République du Nigeria, écoutez un peu euh, la musique euh, de cette euh, brigade. Thank you. 
thank you the mass band your excellencies distinguished invited guests city of sars ladies and gentlemen while we await the arrival of his excellency the vice president of the federal republic for this unique occasion celebrating Nigeria's Diamond Jubilee. Please may I once again run you through the profile of some of the gallant officers of the Nigerian Armed Forces and the Nigerian Police who are of course the guards and sub-guard commanders for this historic occasion. I did mention the number three guard which is the all-female guard provided by the Nigerian Army Women Corps in this unique occasion, commanded by Major Victoria Toma Zira. The rights of guard commander is Captain Mopela De Ifeolua Kende. She hails from Ibadan North local government area in Oyo State. At conclusion of her training at the Nigerian School of Infantry, Jaji, she was commissioned into the Nigerian Army Corps of Supply and Transport. Captain M.I. Kende has attended military courses commensurate to her rank and status. She holds a bachelor's degree in catering and hotel management. The last on the all-female guard in this unique parade is Captain Charity Festus. She is the left sub-guard commander for the number three guard. She hails from Zangun Kataf local government area in Kaduna State. At conclusion of her training at the Nigerian School of Infantry, Jaji, she was commissioned into the Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police. Captain C. Festus has attended military courses commensurate to her rank and status. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is history unfolding here at the Eagle Square. Your Excellencies, invited President, Your Excellency, former heads of state, former President and Vice President, the Senate President and Speaker, House of Representatives, former Senate President and former Speaker, House of Representatives, members of the Diplomatic Corps, His Lordship, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, members of the Federal Executive Council, Service Chiefs and the Inspector General of Police. This is announcing the arrival of His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibajo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger. He has just been received by the Commander Guards Brigade.
Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem you heard a while ago heralded the arrival of His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osivajo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger. You are highly welcome, Your Excellency. In a short while, we shall be expecting the arrival of the special guest of honor for this unique occasion, celebrating the 60th independence anniversary of our great nation, Nigeria. That is, of course, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic. While we await the arrival of His Excellency, the Special Guest of Honor, may I once again reflect the band to please give us some refreshing musical tunes. The mass band, please. Excellence, Mesdames, Messieurs les Ambassadeurs, distingués invités, vous venez d'assister à l'arrivée du président, du vice-président de la République du Fédéral du Nigeria, le professeur Yemi Ossi Bando. Bientôt vous allez assister à l'arrivée du président de la République fédérale du Nigeria, M. Mamadou Wari.
Vice President, Your Excellencies, former President, former Heads of State of our great nation, Nigeria here present, Your Excellencies, former Vice Presidents, former Chief of General Staff, the distinguished Senate President, the Right Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives, Slash the Chief Justice of Nigeria, all the members of the National Assembly and the Federal Assembly Council, Secretary to Government of the Federation, the Chief of Defense Staff, Service Chief, Inspector General of Police, very senior military officers, both serving and serving retired, Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Your Royal Highnesses, my Lord Spiritual and Temporal, very distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, climaxing the decrease, however, for this epoch making significant milestone in the annals of our great nation Nigeria will be the arrival of the special guest of honor, the reviewing officer, President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Muhammad Ubuari, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic. Please immediately we announce his arrival as he alights from the car. Please, President Chaka. We are always expected to rise wherever we are seated within the Eagle Square, please. In absolute deference to his exalted offices and his most distinguished personal, please. In absolute respect, please. We want to thank you most sincerely. And of course, when the band on parade renders the national anthem, officers, warrant officers in uniform should please salute. Thank you.
Please rise if you are still seated, please. Thank you.
the next uh, session of this occasion. Captain Aldo, please. Thank you. Thank you, Major Paul Abara, retired. Your Excellency, distinguished invited guests, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen. We indeed witnessed a short while ago the Parade Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Evans Daroda, invite the special guest of honor his Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, for the inspection of the parade. This inspection is customary as the special guest of honor, of course, in a parade like this, is expected to inspect the guards on parade before the commencement of the match pass. The inspection is done to showcase the loyalty of the troops to their commander-in-chief and their readiness to undertake the course for which they have been commissioned or enlisted to perform. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the special guest of honor and reviewing officer for this historic 60th independent anniversary parade marking Nigeria's Diamond Jubilee his Excellency President Muhammad Buhari was born on 17 December 1942 in Daura, Kassina State. He had his early education in Kassina before joining the Nigerian Army as an officer cadet in 1963. He took military training in Kaduna, Great Britain, India, and the United States of America. In the course of his meritorious military and political career, he was appointed military governor of Northeastern State, now Borno State, in 1975. He also served as a federal commissioner for petroleum resources in 1976. The reviewing officer was appointed military secretary, Supreme Military Headquarters in 1977. And in 1978, he was chairman, Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation. His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari became head of state and commander in chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, between the period of December 1983 and August 1985. He has undergone the following military and career training. Military Training School, Kaduna, 1963. Officers Cadet School, Undershot, United Kingdom, in October 1963. He attended the Platoon Commander's Course, Nigerian Military College, Kaduna, in 1964. His Excellency was at the Mechanical Transport Officers Course, Army Mechanical Transport School, Bowden, United Kingdom, in 1965. He attended the Defense Services Staff College, Wellington, Indian, in 1973. The Special Guest of Honor was at the United States Army War College, between the period of 1979 and 1980. After a successful military career in the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, he was appointed Executive Chairman, Petroleum Trust Fund, PTF, between the period of 1995 to 1990. In 2003, he ran for the office of the President and was defeated by the then incumbent president, Olushego Obasanjo. Undeterred by this, he contested again in two more presidential elections in 2007 and 2011. As a man of determination, driven by his commitment to serve this great nation, he contested again in 2015 presidential election where he emerged victorious 
and was inaugurated as a democratically elected president on 29th May 2015. After a successful four-year tenure in office, President Muhammad Buhari was re-elected for a second tenure in office on 23rd February 2019. Today, we are privileged to have His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari as the special guest of honor in this celebrating the 60th anniversary of our great nation, Nigeria. You will agree with me that the history of this great nation cannot be said to be complete without taking into record the services and sacrifices of this unique statesman. History will recall his services to our great nation as a decorated war hero who fought and bled for the unity of this nation during the civil war that took place between the period of 1967 and 1970. We will also recollect his services and commitment as head of state to set the Nigerian society aright. His Excellency, the reviewing officer, President Muhammad Buhari, is indeed one of the statesmen of our great nation, Nigeria, who have contributed in no little way to the freedom and, of course, the unity we are celebrating today as the theme of this anniversary aptly captured 60 together. 60 together under the leadership of His Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Muhammad Buhari, we are indeed celebrating Nigeria's freedom, celebrating the freedom of the most populous nation in Africa here in the Eagle Square, Abuja. At the end of the inspection, the parade commander will seek permission from His Excellency, the special guest of honor, to continue with the rest of the parade. We will listen to that shortly. C'était là un bref parcours militaire et politique de son excellence, le président Mamadou Boubari, qui vient juste de respecter le peuple militaire. permission that has been graciously granted by the special guest of honor. The parade commander is now marching smartly to take his position and give the orders for the guards to form three ranks and commence the match pass.
I say, I think say, if you give them some kind of sweet close ups, yes. I say, if you give them some kind of sweet close ups. Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, distinguished guests, of course, approaching the saluting dice is the number three guard and all female guard drawn from the Nigerian Army Women Corps. The guards have just paid their compliment to His Excellency, the special guest of honor. We can see the unique synchronization of steps with the mass band on parade, beautifully synchronized and coordinated by these highly professionally trained men and women of the Nigerian Armed Forces and the Nigerian Police on parade celebrating this historic occasion, the 60th independence of our great nation, Nigeria. You can see the all-female guard talking about the number three guard, marching smartly, beautifully in this historic occasion. It is indeed the diamond jubilee of our great nation, Nigeria. The guards haven't paid their compliment to the special guest of honor, are now retreating back into line in sequential and orderly fashion with the color party leading once again. Still reminiscing on our hero's past. Of course, today is a day to remember the likes of Chief Ladoke Akintola, the second premier of the Western region. We will also recall Chief Jaja Wachuku, the first indigenous speaker of the Nigerian parliament. We will remember that it was Chief Jaja Wachuku who received Nigeria's instrument of independence, also known as the Freedom Charter, from the then representative of the Queen of England, Princess Alexandra of Kent. Beautiful, well-coordinated parade being witnessed here, live at the Eagle Square, Abuja, celebrating the freedom of the most populous nation in Africa, celebrating the nation with the largest number of black people in the continent of Africa, celebrating the over 200 million population of our great nation, Nigeria. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is pertinent at this point to also make some key observation as we witness this unique parade taking place here at the Eagle Square. Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, distinguished guests, you will observe that the guards are not matching in close shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact. This, of course, is a standard for those familiar with 
parades such as this. This was done to maintain a relatively safe physical distance between the guards on parade. Of course, for those of us who are quite familiar with military parades such as this, we will recall that while marching on slow time, there is that shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact which is maintained by the guards on parade. We are not witnessing that today. And you would also realize that the guards are all wearing their face marks. Of course, this was done in absolute adherence to the COVID-19 prevention protocol as established by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. It is also pertinent to note that the number of guards on parade today have been drastically reduced. The standard for a national parade such as this would have been 48 ranks and file. What we have today is 24 ranks and file marching on parade today. Like I did mention earlier, these were actions that were deliberately taken to safely conduct this parade within the COVID-19 prevention protocol and established by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. History unfolding here at the Eagle Square. You will recall that exactly 60 years ago, Ululating Nigerians converge at the famous Tafa Balewa Square in Lagos to celebrate the independence of our great nation, Nigeria. Today, 60 long years after, we are here celebrating our freedom despite our challenges, which of course are not insurmountable. Nigeria has every cause to celebrate this day. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we just witnessed the commencement of the March Pass in slow and quick time. The guards, while marching, will take turn to pay their compliments once again to the special guest of honor, His Excellency the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. May I, at this point, please request our distinguished guests and indeed everyone seated in this August arena that when the color party marches towards your sitting position, you are please expected to rise momentarily in recognition and respect to the colors and parade while officers and warrant officers in uniform are expected to salute. This, of course, is a standard military protocol in recognition of the colors marching on parade in this historic occasion celebrating the independence of our great nation, Nigeria. Of course, Distinguished guests, you will realize also that the guards are still maintaining that physical distance between them by not matching in close shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact, which, like I did mention earlier, is the standard practice while matching in slow time. We can see advancing squarely towards the saluting dice is the mass band on parade. The mass band comprises members of the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Navy, the Nigerian Air Force, and the Nigerian Police Band. The band is commanded by Major 
M.A. Torella of the Nigerian Army. He is assisted by Lieutenant Commander E.F. Kalu of the Nigerian Navy, Flight Lieutenant A.A. Omudode of the Nigerian Air Force, and Superintendent R.M. Fayombo of the Nigerian Police. Beautiful synchronization of steps with the mass band and parade being witnessed here in this historic occasion celebrating the 60th independent anniversary of our great nation, Nigeria. You can see there leading the guards as they pay their compliment to the special guest of honor shortly is the parade commander. Lieutenant Colonel Mukhtar Sani Daruda. Of course, behind him in the white, beautifully adorned parade horse is the parade second in command, Lieutenant Commander Aminu Farouk Usman. Approaching the saluting guys is the number one guard commanded by Major G.U. Booker. The left of guard commander is Captain A. Musa, while the left of guard commander is Captain A.B. Betara. Marching closely behind the number one guard is the number two guard, which is commanded by Major B. Godwin. The left of guard commander is Captain B. Awotile, and the right sub guard commander is Captain J. Odong. We we'll just witnessed the number one guard. We we'll have just paid their compliment to the special guest of honor, His Excellency, the President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, GCFR. As you can see, marching closely behind the number two guard is the number three guard. The number three guard of parade in this historic occasion is indeed unique as the guard is commanded by female. As a matter of fact, the entire number three guard is an all-female guard drawn from the Nigerian Army Women Corps. Unique guard on parade here this morning. Kudos must be given to the organizers of this event. 1995 Beijing Affirmation being aptly recognized here. Apart from the number three guard that is an all-female guard, in all the respective guard provided by the armed forces and indeed other security agencies are also having female guard. Approaching the saluting guys is the, of course, one of the beauty of the parade, talking about the color party. I did mention we have four colors on parade, the national colors, the regimental colors of the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Navy, and the Nigerian Air Force. Once again, may I remind our distinguished guests that when the color party marches towards your sitting position, you are please expected to rise momentarily while officers and warrant officers in uniform are to salute. Marching closely behind the color party is the number three guard. The guard, of course, is commanded by Major VT Zira, and the left sub guard commander is Captain Emma Ikeinde, while the right sub guard commander is Captain C. Festus. That, of course, is talking about the all female guard drawn from the Nigerian Army. Women Corps. Next to the color party is a guard provided by the Nigerian Navy. 
The guard is commanded by Lieutenant Commander O.E. Anthony. The left sub guard commander is Lieutenant Navy Lieutenant K.F. Haruna. Why the right sub guard commander is Navy Lieutenant A.H. Opaloka. Directly behind the number four guard is the number five guard provided by the Nigerian Air Force. The guard is commanded by squadron leader A.R. Al Hassan. The left sub guard commander is Flight Lieutenant W. Uzeri. And the right sub guard commander is Flight Lieutenant M.C. Uhenacho. The last but not the least is the right, is the number six guard. At this point, may I most respectfully state that the number six guard on parade this morning is provided by the Nigerian police. These, of course, we can see them marching smartly in their beautifully adorned red ceremonial dress celebrating the freedom of our great nation, Nigeria. The guard is commanded by Superintendent of Police, Aminu Shaibu Igabawa. The right sub-guard commander is Deputy Superintendent of Police, Omo Pamela Ifrem. While the left sub-guard commander is Deputy Superintendent of Police, Abdullahi Abdurrahman Bakura. And of course, that is the guards on parade marching this morning. May I once again remind our distinguished guests that as the color party marches towards your sitting position, you are please expected to rise momentarily while officers and world officers in uniform are to salute. Your Excellency, the Special Guest of Honor, Your Excellency, Distinguished Invited Guests, Senior Officers, Ladies and Gentlemen, we are indeed approaching one of the main highlights of parades such as these. Of course, we can refer to these as one of the three wonders of military parade such as these talking about the transition from slow time to quick time. This is one transition that is professionally and flawlessly executed by these highly professionally trained men and women of the Nigerian Armed Forces and the Nigerian Police marching on parade this morning. I want to urge our distinguished guests, wherever you are seated in this arena, to please focus your attention on the guards on parade. This transition is one that will naturally elicit your applaud as it is professionally and flawlessly executed by these wonderful men and women marching to celebrate the freedom of our great nation, Nigeria. That is, of course, the transition from slow time to quick time. Of course, the other two highlights of parade such as this is the individual guard halting and the advance in review order. We shall witness all of that shortly while we focus our gaze to appreciate the transition from slow time to quick time. Happy viewing. Shall we put our hands together for these wonderful men and women? That is the transition from slow time to quick time. We will agree with me that that was flawlessly executed by these highly trained men and women of the Nigerian Armed Forces and the Nigerian Police marching on parade this historic morning celebrating the 60th independence anniversary of our great nation Nigeria. At this point, I will 
hand over the commentary to my co-commentator, Major Paul Abara, retired. Major Paul Abara, please. Thank you, Captain Innocent Aldo, the special guest of honor, review officer, President Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Muhammad Ubuari, GCFR, Your Excellencies, all protocols most respectfully observed. It is much past, it's long quick time, they're just broken from slow to quick time, synchronized with the rhythm of the mass band on parade. Please, once again, a quick reminder, when the callers pass by your sitting position, momentarily, please expect to rise. Officers, warrant officers in uniform should please salute. Thank you. Moving towards uh, the presidential days this moment uh, is the parade commander, Lieutenant Colonel Mukhtar Sani Daruda. He doubles as the commanding officer, seven guards battalion, followed by the parade YC, number one guard. The drill, the discipline, the militarism is written all over. Arms, foot drill, coinciding appropriately with the rhythm of the mass band on parade. Number three guard is exclusively made up of officers and uh, female soldiers. Recognizing the Beijing Declaration, affirmative action 35%. And of course, there are other female officers and female uh, personnel in other guards. But number three is exclusive. We can say it. Please, may we rise wherever you are seated once again, momentarily, as the color party passes by your sitting position. Thank you. Please take your seats, it doesn't matter, the colors have passed. Bringing up the rear is uh, the police guard, followed by the adjutant, the parade. May I, at this juncture, most respectfully and very diligently request the commander, Guards Brigade, Brigadier General Mohammed Takuti Usman, to please. Request uh, the special guest of honor to his seat, please. Commander Guys Brigade, please. Please, your hands together. The special guest of honor, review officer, present commander in chief. I mean, we rise wherever we are seated, please. In deference to his offices, please. Excellent. Significant. My stone in the annals of our great nation, Nigeria, 68th Independence Anniversary. We want to thank the Most High for a clement weather. Thank you. May please take your seats. Thank you. We saw a while ago the first of three very, very significant aspects of a parade of this magnitude. The first was uh, breaking from a uh, slow march to quick time. We saw the synchronization there, unmistakable. Next, shortly, will be the individual guard halting. We're going to see that shortly. Mesdames, Messieurs, Mesdames, Mesdames, Messieurs, Excellences, Mesdames, Messieurs, les ambassadeurs, distingués invités, vous venez d'assister aux parades des différents groupes militaires en célébration de, de 60 années d'anniversaire de l'indépendance de la République fédérale du Nigeria.
comes together, awesome precision there. Individual got halted. Excellency, the special guest of honor, review of sir, President, Commander in Chief, Your Excellencies, most distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, shortly we're going to uh, have the match pass in quick time by the paramilitary organizations and agencies. We're going to see that shortly. Happy view, Your Excellencies. organizations, agencies, comprised of nine guards. Leading the guards is the guards of the Nigeria Correctional Services, until recently known as the Nigerian Prison Services. This is followed by the guards of the Nigeria Customs Service. And next is the guard of the Nigeria Immigration Service. It is followed by the guard of the Federal Fire Service. And next is the guard of the Federal Road Safety Corps. And that's followed by the guard of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps. NSCDC. Next is the unmistakable guard of the Nigerian Legion, patriotic, nationalistic, selfless, loyal Nigerians who answered the clarion call when their services were needed. Some partook in the First World War, the Second World War, the Continental Campaigns, the sub-regional campaigns that culminated in the 30 months civil strife that engulfed our great nation Nigeria between 1967 and January 15, 1970, and at the declaration of armistice, there was no victor, no vanquished. Great men. Some are the unknown soldiers, but by providence, the ones that are living in our midst today, some of them are on parade, the Nigerian Legion. This is followed by uh, the guard of uh, the organized uh, labor made up of uh, Trade Union Congress and the Nigerian Labor Congress. And bringing up the rear is uh, our brothers, our sisters, our children, members of the National Youth Service Corps. Now, the Correctional Services uh, Guard is uh, commanded by Deputy Superintendent of Correctional Service, Edith Eta Foley. The Customs Guard is commanded by Deputy Superintendent of Customs, M.M. Haruna. The Guard of the Nigerian Immigration Service is commanded by Assistant Superintendent of Immigration, A.A. Alade. And the Guard of the Federal F Fire Service, commanded by Assistant Superintendent of Fire, Abdomimini Isiaka. The guard of the Federal Road Safety Corps is commanded by Deputy Road Commander A.H. Kogi. The guard of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, Assistant Superintendent Corps 1, M.V. Sebastian. The Nigerian Leader uh, by Colonel Otubo Kea uh, Donatus, retired. And the guard of the organized labor comprising TUC and NLC is commanded by uh, Comrade Godwin, Tom, Sunday. And bringing up the rear is the guard of the National Service Corps, uh, commanded by Corps member Bassi Samuel. We must say that uh, the Nigerian Legion did a human's job when the services were needed. 
on their own volition. They answer the clarion call and ensure the indivisibility, the indissolubility, and indeed the indomitability of our great nation, Nigeria. Excellent parade any day. And of course, uh, the NCDC uh, protocol is being observed under normal circumstances. Guards are made up of about 48 uh, members on guard, but I think what we have is 24 to create the physical spacing. Thank you. Can we put our hands together, please? Thank you. The march passed by the paramilitary organizations and agencies. Parade commander, please. Thank you. shortly we're going to witness uh, combined uh, combined services uh, call up patrol at this juncture the microphone swings over to my co-announcer captain innocent audio captain audio please thank you thank you major paul about retired your excellency the special guest of honor your excellencies distinguished invited guests ladies and gentlemen in a short while, we shall be witnessing the Combined Services Color Patrol. This is the first time in the history of the armed forces of our great nation that we will be witnessing a Color Patrol that involves the three services of the Nigerian armed forces being patrolled in this 60th independent anniversary celebrating our great nation, Nigeria first ever of its kind being witnessed here today. We just witnessed the guards present arms to the colors in preparation for this unique regimental parade that we will be witnessing for the first time in the history of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria being done as a combined services color patrol. We can see the graceful movement of the ensign to the colors as they proudly and brazenly lift the colors on parade to rest on their shoulder 
in preparation for this unique parade. The ensign to the colors taking part in this regimental parade is the ensign to the national color Captain Abdumalik Suleiman. The ensign to the regimental color of the Nigerian Army is Captain J.U. Jubila. While the ensign to the regimental colors of the Nigerian Navy is Navy Lieutenant D.A. Olaiola. Of course, the ensign to the regimental colors of the Nigerian Air Force is Flight Lieutenant M.S. Cholo. Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, Your Excellency's distinguished invited guests, senior officers, officers, ladies and gentlemen. The four beats from the bass drum you heard a while ago signifies the commencement of the color patrol. Like I did mention earlier, the color patrol is a unique regimental parade carried out by the Nigerian Army Guards Brigade at the weekly change of guard at the presidential villa and the National Arcade. However, as part of innovation, celebrating this 60th independent anniversary of our great nation, Nigeria, we are witnessing the first ever combined color patrol by the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This, of course, both the national colors, the regimental colors of the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Navy, and the Nigerian Air Force. You can see the graceful movement of the enzymes bearing the color, highly synchronized, flawlessly executed steps being aligned with the mass band on parade being commanded by Major M.A. Toriola. This, of course, like I did mention, is the first time we are privileged to see this parade, and indeed, it is one that couldn't have come at a better time. While we enjoy this solemn regimental parade, may I at this point please acquaint you with the origin and significance of color patrol. The origin and significance of color patrol is traced to two age-long military ceremony in the British Empire. That is, trooping the colors and mounting the Queen's Guard. These ceremonies date back to the early 18th century when the guards and sentries for the royal palaces and other important buildings in the capital of the United Kingdom were mounted daily on the parade ground. The essence of the parade was for the colors of the battalion to be carried or trooped slowly down the rank so that they could be seen and recognized by the soldiers as the colors all look different depending on the colors and symbol of each regiment. Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, distinguished guests, uh, we just witnessed a while ago the enzymes to the colors. I haven't presented the colors to His Excellency, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. They have now retreated back, still maintaining that graceful movement, synchronized with the mass band on parade. They will march past their starting position and also present the colors to the guards on parade for them to also take a good look and recognize the national colors and the regimental colors of their various services. After which they will retreat and uh, on getting to their starting position, they will halt and that will mark the end of this uh, unique regimental parade. At this point, permit me to take you back to the significance 
and of course the origin of this ceremony. In ancient armies, colors were also used so that soldiers could easily spot their units when they were on the battlefield because it was quite easy to get lost in battle in those days. As a result of this, it was important that soldiers knew which colors belonged to which regiment, hence the need for color trooping. However, in 1917-48, it was ordered that color trooping parade will also mark the official birthday of the Sorbin, that is, the head of the British monarchy. In Nigeria, however, it is an established military tradition that on receipt of new colors, such colors must be formally presented by the receiving regiment or military establishment to the incumbent or sitting president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces before the colors can appear on parade. Colors are also presented or marched on parade during important national or military occasion such as the one being witnessed here today in this August arena. Color patrol, like I did mention, is often done by the Nigerian Army Gas Brigade during the weekly change of gas parade at the Presidential Villa and the National Arcade. However, this is the first time in which the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria will be having a combined services color patrol which include the national colors, the regimental colors of the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Navy, and the Nigerian Air Force. This, of course, is a unique innovation that was introduced to mark this historic 60th independent anniversary of our great nation, Nigeria. I can say the enzymes to the colors, of course, colors are only carried by commissioned officers referred to as enzymes to the colors. And you can see them maintaining that synchronized movement of the hands and legs. This, of course, has been professionally executed here. Flawless movement coming from these highly trained officers of the Nigerian Armed Forces. Having presented the colors to the guards on parade this morning, the enzymes to the colors have once again retreated in an orderly fashion, still maintaining that graceful movement we are witnessing here today. In a short while, they will reach their starting position upon which they will halt, and of course, that will mark the end of this historic color patrol, the first ever of its kind, being witnessed here at the Eagle Square Abuja, celebrating Nigeria's Diamond Jubilee, celebrating our freedom, celebrating our sovereignty 60 years after that fateful day at the famous Tapa Balewa Square in Lagos, where jubilating and ululating Nigerians took to the arena and the streets of Lagos to mark the independence of our great nation, Nigeria. You will agree with me that despite the challenges we indeed have risen to celebrate this day, this is a nation that has gone through an unfortunate civil war between 1967 and 1970. We are dealing with other security challenges. However, Nigeria still remains one strong, united, indivisible nation. And today we are here celebrating our freedom, celebrating our independence. Can we put our hands together? That was the color patrol. You can see the enzymes to the color once again as they gracefully and indeed proudly lift the colors off 
their shoulders. Of course, a role, a call that colors are held in very high esteem in the armed forces. This, of course, this the glory of the regiments. In this case, of course, we well, we just witnessed the colors of the services of the Nigerian Armed Forces, talking about the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Navy, and the Nigerian Air Force. We just witnessed the guards who have just pulled out arm. Of course, they have presented arms in absolute respect and deference to the colors being patrolled. Any moment from now, <coughs> the color party will retreat and, of course, march smartly to join the rest of the parade. Can we put our hands together once more for this excellent display, professionalism being exhibited at its peak here at the Eagle Square. Of course, talking about the color patrol, the color party is one of the beauty of any military parade. And we can see them as they march smartly and squarely into line to join the rest of the parade. Excellency, the special guest of honor and commander in chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, senior officers, both serving and retired officers, ladies and gentlemen. We witnessed a short while ago the historic combined services color patrol of the Nigerian Armed Forces being witnessed here for the first time in uh, the history of our great nation Armed Forces at this unique arena celebrating the 60th independent anniversary of our great nation. Next on our program is the combined silent drill squad, mass band, and a civilian display by the Adila Dance and Acrobatic Group. This performance is one that seeks to further enhance and indeed project the theme of this year's celebration, which is 60 together. Together, we will be witnessing a unique performance by members of the Nigerian Army Guards Brigade Silent Drill Squad, the Mass Band of Parade, and the Adela Dance and Acrobatic Group. This performance exhibit the mutual relationship that exists between members of the Nigerian Armed Forces, other security organizations and agencies, and of course the Nigerian public. You will agree with me that this is quite unique for us to have a civilian cultural troop performing with the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Nigerian police in a national parade such as this, celebrating 
the freedom of our great nation is one that shows that there is indeed a mutual understanding, a mutual relationship existing between members of the uh, Nigerian Armed Forces, other security agencies, and indeed the general public. The guards have just presented arms to His Excellency, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, in tribute to their display. The special guest of honor, the distinguished guest, the performance you are witnessing is, like I did mention, is carried out by 30 personnel of the Nigerian Army Gas Brigade Silent Drill Squad. Amongst them, we have 15 gallant male soldiers and 15 gallant female soldiers performing in a display that would be exhibiting the high professional professionalism, high proficiency in foot drill and weapon handling. Excellent synchronization of steps being witnessed here by this highly professionally trained men and women of the Nigerian Army Gas Brigade Silent Drill Squad. You can see how these highly professional men and women of the Nigerian Army are able to spin the FN rifle, which is being used for this performance, 360 degrees. It is pertinent to note that the rifle being used by these gallant men and women is by no means light. The FN rifle weighs about 4.5 kilograms, and we can see how these wonderful men and women are able to manipulate the rifle in an excellent display and mastering of weapon handling, synchronized here flawlessly with their proficiency in foot drill, with the mass band on parade, giving a rhythmic tune as these men and women display the height of professionalism, which, of course, the Nigerian Armed Forces is known and respected for. Men and women of the Nigerian Army Gas Brigade Silent Drill Squad 
and indeed members of the Nigerian Armed Forces are known and respected for. You can see that high level of professionalism being exhibited here at the Eagle Square celebrating the freedom of our great nation, Nigeria. Wonderful display befitting of a celebration such as the one we are witnessing today.
special guest of honor, distinguished guest, with peace having been restored by the members of the Nigerian Armed Forces and other security agencies. We can now witness the performance, of course, taking place now in the cultural display, celebrating the over 250 ethnic group of our great nation, Nigeria.
respectfully observe. I warmly and heartily welcome you to the aerial display segment and fly past in commemoration of Nigeria's Diamond Independence Anniversary Celebration. In this fly past, three platforms which form part of the Nigerian Air Force aircraft inventory shall be displayed here today in celebration of Nigeria's 60th Independence Anniversary. They are the Augusta helicopters with call sign the Falcons, the Alpha Jets with call sign the Aggressors, and the L39ZA with call sign the Cobras. Permit me to inform you, Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, that the fly pass this morning shall be in three waves. The first wave shall be the Augusta helicopters flying in a two ship formation proudly displaying the Nigeria 60 Diamond Anniversary banner. The second wave is the Ali Alpha Jets flying in a three-ship formation. And finally, the L-39 ZA also flying in a three-ship formation. May I also add that the fly pass today is not as elaborate as earlier planned due to the poor weather condition occasioned by the low cloud base over the Eagle Square at this time. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, this display you are about to witness this morning forms part of the routines carried out daily by the pilots of the Nigerian Air Force in the ongoing fight against terrorism in the Northeast and banditry in the Northwest and other forms of insecurity in the country. Please relax and enjoy the awesome area capabilities of the Nigerian Air Force as we celebrate Nigeria at 60 together here at the Eagle Square. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, it may interest you to know that formation flying is a disciplined flight of two or more aircraft under the command of a flight lead. Military pilots use formation flying for mutual defense and concentration of firepower. Formation flying is performed during occasions like this to show how disciplined our pilots perform in the air and to showcase the overall combat efficiency of the Nigerian Air Force. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, may I request you turn your attention to the right side of the parade ground as we herald the fly past of today's ceremony. Leading the fly past are the Augusta helicopters. The Augusta is an advanced motor war helicopter capable of combat and non-combat utilization. And the way inducted into the Nigerian Air Force aircraft inventory in March 2010, Two more were inducted in April 2019, and an additional two were inducted in February 2020, making a total of four inducted under the present administration of the Nigerian Air Force, headed by the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Baba Abubakar, with the staunch support of the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, above are the Augusta helicopters executing an orbit salute to Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria. Uh, His Excellency, President Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic. Please a round of applause for the Falcons. What a spectacular view as the Augusta helicopter gracefully and proudly display the Diamond Independence Anniversary banner. Written on the banner is the theme for this year's anniversary. 
which rates celebrating Nigeria at 60 together. Indeed, it is a joyous and historic moment today that despite our struggles and predictions to the contrary, we are still celebrating Nigeria together, standing tall with our heads held up high as a strong, indivisible, and great nation. Congratulations, Nigeria. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, permit me to add that the lead helicopter is being flown by squadron leader Olushola Adeni and flight lieutenant Larry Azi, while the second helicopter is flown by squadron leader Kelechi Uwaba and flying officer Kizitu Omorabo. Please, a round of applause for the finest Air Force in West Africa, our gallant pilot, manning this aircraft. That leads me to add that the Augusta helicopters is actively involved in several operations in the country. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, the next formation of flying past are the Alpha Jets with the call sign, the Aggressors. The aircraft is a tactical trainer and attack jet, which has the capability to deliver missiles, cannon, rockets and bombs. The Alpha Jets aircraft was inducted into the Nigerian Air Force inventory in 1982 and can be utilized for both air-to-air -air combat and air-to-ground combat. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, may I quickly add that the Alpha Jets has been used in several combat operations Above your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, are the Alpha Jets in a three ship formation flying echelon saluting Nigeria at 60. This aircraft has been used during the ECOMOV operations in Liberia and Syria alone, in Northern Mali, and Operation Restore Democracy in the Gambia in recent times. It has also been employed in the fight against terrorism and other forms of insecurity in the Northeast, the Northwest, and the Niger Delta region. Please, a round of applause for the aggressors. The lead aircraft is flown by squadron leader Fumen Dogo and flight lieutenant Yusuf Ahmed. The number two aircraft is flown by Squadron Leader Samuel Hastroff and Flight Lieutenant Ebiakpo Chapelle, while the number three is flown by Flight Lieutenant Festus Oga and Flight Lieutenant Nuruddin. And that is the Alpha Jet saying congratulations, Nigeria, once again. A round of applause for the aggressors. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, the last formation for the flight past this morning are the L39ZA. It may interest you to know that the L39ZA is a subsonic single engine aircraft which was inducted into the Nigerian Air Force aircraft inventory in 1986 as a basic trainer. These jets were almost grounded, but thanks to the enabling environment created by the support of His Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, President Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, the aircraft was given a new lease of life in country and weaponized by a joint team of engineers and technicians from the Czech Republic and the Nigerian Air Force, and ever since has been in actively involved in operations such as Operation Lafia Dole in the North East Operation Hadarindaji in the Northwest, as well as actively involved in the training of fighter pilots for the Nigerian Air Force. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, the lead aircraft for today's um, formation is flown by Squadron Leader Utsime Brown and Squadron Leader Yaswarsu Yabilsu. The second aircraft is flown by 
Squadron leader Marcel Yusuf and squadron leader Jeremiah Abkebu. One of the third aircraft is flown by squadron leader Tarilado Ogoina and flight lieutenant Kabil Usman. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it may interest you to know. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, above all the L 39 Z in a tree ship formation flying in echelon with the smoke display of the national colors. A round of applause for the L 39 Z A. Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, overhead are the L 39 ZA trailing with the national colors, wishing Nigeria a happy celebration. Thank you, Squadron Leader Gloria Toma. At this point, the distinguished invited guests, we would move to the next item on our program, which is the advance in the view order.
going to be 21 gun salute uh, given by the Nigerian Army Artillery. Please, it's part of this ceremony. No panicking and uh, no fear, please. It's part of this ceremony. At this juncture, Your Excellencies, may I now pass the mic to Mrs. Uh, Dio Benjamin's Lani to take us to the next segment. Mrs. Uh, Lani, please. Thank you very much. Major Paul Abara retired. Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, distinguished invited guests, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen. At this point in this prestigious program of Independence Day events, I respectfully request the Commander Guards Brigade, Brigadier General Mohammed Takuti Usma, to invite His Excellency, the special guest of honor, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, President Mohamedou Buhari, GCFR, for the signing of the anniversary register in commemoration of Nigeria's 60th Diamond Jubilee celebrations, today hosted this historic Independence Day, Thursday, 1st October 2020. His Excellency, the Special Guest of Honor, will be accompanied by Her Excellency, the First Lady, His Excellency, the Vice President, His Excellency, the Senate President, Excellency, the Speaker, Chief Justice of Nigeria, SGF, the Minister of Defense, the Honorable Minister for the FCT, the National Security Advisor, and all of the eminent cluster of Nigerian service chiefs. Thank you. Once again, this is the historic signing by Mr. President of the anniversary register in commemoration of Nigeria's 60th Diamond Jubilee celebrations. Today at the Eagle Square, Abuja, Federal Capital Territory. We'd also like to respectfully ask their excellencies, our former presidents and commanders in chief, His Excellency General Gowan and His Excellency President Goodluck Jonathan, to please accompany the presidential signing of the register. It's a celebration for Nigeria, and in the spirit of celebrating Diamond Jubilee, Young and old, diaspora Nigerians here, at home on native soil, it's happy Independence Day and happy 60th Jubilee anniversary. Today, Nigeria's historic 60th celebration and anniversary is themed together. A single word expressing the indestructible power of our national integrity, an integrity stated in the Nigerian coat of arms, unity, faith, peace, and progress. Together, one word, one message, one mandate, and one prayer for all Nigerians everywhere as Nigeria celebrates 60 together. Once again, Your Excellencies, we have the Excellencies, our former presidents, General Gowan, as well as His Excellency General, His Excellency President Good Luck Jonathan. And we see he's also accompanied. of Her Excellency, a former First Lady as well, Her Excellency, Mama P. Dame Patience, good luck, Jonathan. Once again, it's a celebration of our colors, green, white, green, at 60. It's a thematic declaration of our integrity, our national pedigree, and our distinctive DNA for Nigerians here and everywhere. Together we are stronger, together we are happier. A nation of happy people at one time 
with your state of the happiest people in the world. Today, the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Nigerians everywhere can defiantly make their own personal decree for change, differentiation, and the Republic of Nigeria signing the anniversary register. Nigeria is diamond, and with this court's expression, indestructible and full of the power of national worth and legacy. Very distinguished cluster of the other statesmen, presidential force, emeritus, his Excellency the Vice President, First Lady, Senate President, Speaker, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, the SGF, the Minister of Defense, the FCT Minister, and now His Excellency. Mr. President, and again the national salute will be preceded by 21 gun salutes by the Nigerian artillery please it's part of this ceremony please please thank you my own son too before they begin shoot my belly is empty go by test go by Please rise wherever we are seated, please. May we all please rise wherever we are seated, please. In honor, please. Protocol, please. Thank you.
May please take your seats. Thank you. The 21 God salute and the national anthem over the parade commander, Lieutenant Colonel Mutar Sani Daroda, marches towards the presidential days to seek the presidential permission of Mr. President to march of the colors and the rest of the parade. Thus bringing us to the end of this epoch making significant milestone in the annals of our great nation, Nigeria, 60th independence anniversary. Presidential permission graciously sought there and presidentially given. That brings us to the end of this ceremony. Please, we want to uh, employ our guests to please remain seated and allow Mr. President, the special guest of honor, and other dignitaries take their exit before we move, please. Thank you very much once again. Um, on behalf of the chairman of the Interministerial uh, Planning Committee, who doubles as the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, uh, Mr. Box Mustafa, and the executive members of the committee, we want to thank your excellencies, most distinguished guests, for honoring this invitation. We're wishing you one and all journey messages back to your respective destinations. Thank you and God bless. Your compares have been uh, Squadron Leader Gloria Tonya of the Nigerian Air Force and uh, Captain Innocent Jose Aldo, the Public Relations Officer of the Gas Brigade Nigerian Army, and yours sincerely, Major Paul Abara retired. Again, thank you, goodbye, God bless, until we see some other time. Adieu, au revoir. Vous pouvez rester assis euh, jusqu'à ce que le président de la République euh, prenne congé de nous. Et vous venez juste de euh, l'hymne national de la pompe faire précéder euh, des 21 cours de canon qui marquent la, le, le 60e euh, anniversaire de l'indépendance du Nigeria. C'est donc euh, sous, euh, par le, sous le départ du président euh, Mamadou, son Excellence Mamadou Bari, que cette cérémonie euh, prendra fin. Mais restez, veuillez rester assis jusqu'à ce que euh, le président de la République se retire. assister donc au départ du président son excellence Mamadou Bouari et c'est sur ce départ que marque la fin de cette cérémonie l'état nigérien vous remercie de votre présence euh, mesdames messieurs excellence mesdames messieurs les ambassadeurs et les membres du corps diplomatique surtout et espère vous revoir l'année prochaine